Once hidden amidst the lush landscapes of West Java in Indonesia lay the enigmatic Ganung Padang, a site shrouded in ancient mystery and steeped in legend. This site has been brought to the forefront of mainstream media due to claims that it is the oldest man-made pyramid on Earth, with a date of 27,000 years old being attributed to it. This date is controversial and is disputed to this day. This video will highlight the noteworthy elements of Ganung Padang without presenting any opinion on whether or not the date is right. I'll just outline what has been said about it and you can make your own mind up as to whether or not this is a 27,000 year old pyramid. Nestled in West Java in Indonesia, Ganung Padang is a canvas of history, etched with the imprints of a time long gone. It was adorned with a series of five majestic terraces, each a step back into a forgotten era. These terraces, ranging from rectangular to trapezoidal shapes, ascended the hillside, getting progressively smaller as they reached skyward. Enclosed by formidable stone walls, they were connected by a grand staircase of 370 andesite steps, a daunting climb that rose about 95 meters towards the heavens. The Sundanese people local to this land revered this place, believing it to be the remnants of King Siloangi's audacious attempt to build a palace in a single night. It's important to note that Indonesia was a very different place when sea levels were lower. It was part of a land known as Sunderland. Ganung Padang has been built upon an extinct volcano. It has had adjustments made to it at least four times throughout its long history. The first built the pyramid, the second wrapped it in andesite columns, the third added parallel layers of stone columns, and finally the fourth led to the entire pyramid being covered in soil, which appears to have been an attempt to hide this incredible structure. Ground penetrating radar scans have shown a large tunnel leading far into the earth. The chamber inside is yet to be explored for some strange reason, and the cement found at the site is proof of advanced technology as it is a mixture of clay, iron, and silica. The cement contained up to 45% iron, and if the date of 27,000 years old holds true, this means iron was being utilized by this civilization 18,000 years before the Iron Age. Yet Ganung Padang's story was not without its controversies. In 2014, an excavation project was abruptly halted, mired in criticism for its methodology. Amidst these debates, archaeologists attempted to piece together the site's timeline. Lutfri Yondri from the Bureau of Archaeology in Bandung suggested its origins are between the 2nd and 5th century CE, while Harry Truman Simon Juntak proposed a later period between the 6th and 8th century CE. Pottery fragments hinted at an even earlier existence, dating back to between 45 BC and 22 AD. However, it was the geologist Danny Hillman Natawijaja's bold hypothesis that stirred the pot of controversy. He proposed that Ganung Padang was not just an ancient structure, but a colossal pyramid, its origins tracing back an astonishing 9 to 27,000 years ago. This claim suggested the presence of an advanced ancient civilization and was met with skepticism from the scientific community. His claims that Ganung Padang in Indonesia could be as old as 27,000 years is based on a combination of geological and radiocarbon dating techniques. Here's a summary of the type of evidence and methods he used to arrive at this controversial date. Radiocarbon Dating Natawi Jaja and his team conducted radiocarbon dating of materials found at various depths within the site. This method measures the decay of carbon-14 in organic materials, providing an estimate of age. The deeper layers of the site, where the oldest materials were presumably located, yielded dates that suggest a much older origin than previously thought. Stratigraphic Studies Stratigraphy involves analyzing the layers of soil and sedimentary deposits. By examining the different layers at Ganung Padang, Natawi Jaja aimed to determine the chronological sequence of the site's construction and use. These studies can reveal the relative ages of different layers, indicating a timeline for the site's development. Geological Analysis As a geologist specializing in earthquake geology and geotectonics, Natawi Jaja also likely considered the geological context of the site, including the type of rocks and their formation, erosion patterns, and other geological features. This would help in understanding the natural processes that may have influenced the site's appearance and condition over millennia. The debate reached the highest corridors of power, capturing the attention of Indonesia's president, who established a task force to investigate further. In 2023, Natawi Jaja escalated his claims, publishing a paper in Archaeological Prospection, asserting that Ganung Padang was the oldest pyramid in the earth, dating back 27,000 years. But his findings, lacking concrete evidence of human activity, drew criticism and led to an investigation by the journal's publisher, Wiley. Through the passage of time, Ganung Padang remains a beacon of historical enigma, a puzzle waiting to be solved. 
standing as a silent witness to the ebb and flow of civilizations, its true story yet to be fully unraveled. So what do you think? Do you think this is a 27,000 year old megalithic site like Natawi Judger suggested, or do you think the origins of it are from a far more recent time? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.